This is a 1981 Fleer number 28 George Brett. And the year before this came out, George Brett nearly hit 400 for the season, which would have been the first time anyone did that since Ted Williams in 1941. Over the 400 mark with six weeks to go in the season, there was a big media rush. Everybody came rushing into my locker after the game. Do you think you can hit 400? Do you think you can hit 400? I mean, from 50, 60 microphones. And I'm going, hey, that's stupid. I have six weeks to go in the season. I'm not even going to think about it. And I, I laughed at their faces. Well, for the, for the next month, I was still over 400. Now, after talking about it and talking about it for, for a month and with only two weeks to go in the season, I made one mistake. I went out and tried to hit 400. He didn't quite get there. He finished at 390, which was still high enough for him to win AL MVP, and his bat carried the Royals all the way to the World Series. The all-time record sale for this card is a BGS Pristine 10 that sold for $589.